Hey everyone, right here, welcome back to another vlog. It is very, very early Monday morning. It's like 12.30 a.m. and I've decided it's a good time to start shipping orders. We've had a little over 30 orders come in over the weekend, which is amazing, but that does mean I have some work to do. And when Pearson gets here in the morning, him and I are also gonna ship all of the whatnot orders that people made on my big Venator giveaway stream. But I figured I should do the website orders right now so that we can focus on that tomorrow and editing and doing other video projects. So let's knock out 30 packages. So it took me about 80 minutes to do like 30 orders. Good to know though, like an average time per order. So I did basically a small scale experiment here, timing myself, trying to do these at like a normal pace. I wasn't overdoing it. I had some YouTube stuff on. I would go over here and turn it on or change videos a few times. Um, but you know, I also wasn't on my phone the whole time. So trying to figure out like what the timing should about be. I was about to go to bed. I don't wanna show his name, so I'm not gonna open it, but just got another order. So I'm gonna do, do one more and go to bed. So last night while I was asleep, someone ordered one of the most expensive items on mnrshop.com. And it's a sad day for me because it is something that was in my collection for a long time. But there's the collector's corner on mnrshop.com where I sell things from time to time that would be from my collection. Yeah, maybe not some of the Star Wars stuff uh, probably never be for sale on there, but I happen to have a share of Deadpool for sale on there for $1,200 and someone finally bought it. They used a discount code, so they ended up getting like 60 more dollars off. So I think I sold it in total for $1,140. This is one of my favorite Lego minifigures ever. It's so cool. Just having the extra stuff like, hey nerd, pst, over here on Mint in Box is like hilarious. And it's something that I feel like Lego wouldn't do today. So I just loved it for that. And I don't know, I looked at it for a long time and I just basically realized I'd rather have a thousand dollars than have this figure and so i decided it must be sold so i thank the person that bought it i'm very glad uh it's probably going to a good home and they did pearson said pay for express shipping one day one day shipping going to the state of georgia so we gotta get this thing shipped out right now so we can get there tomorrow hopefully yep priority mail express that's crazy what was that 30 bucks it was actually it was like cheaper than i would have thought right 30 dollars 30 dollars to georgia is kind yeah of expensive. it's not bad oh i don't know for one day though yeah at first when I saw it, I was like, that is crazy, but I thought we had like messed up the shipping thing. But yeah, there he goes. All right, we'll put some padding in there, but he'll be gone. It was a fun time while it lasted. Almost forgot to give him a free m &R tile for his purchase. <laughs> his very, very expensive purchase gets a tile. Here we go. I don't know if they want me to say their name, but thank you to the guy who purchased it. I'm very happy to see it hopefully go to a good home, but yeah. Uh, this collection becomes ever so slightly more Star Wars only. So I was in here working with Pearson on the Thrawn Star Destroyer video, and then I realized we had the lights on for the video, and it kind of works like a black light or whatever, where some of the certain Lego colors really pop. That's super, super sick. I noticed it on the shuttle first, but it looks way cooler on Jabba's palace there. The Darth Maul eyes are a little less noticeable, maybe a little too much light bleeding in, but uh, pretty dope. I didn't realize that my lights would do that. Now I want to make like a whole display with just those color pieces, but I know that's a pain in the butt. It's pretty dope to see though. It's Tuesday, it's kind of been a catch up day. I've been trying to figure out some tax stuff or sales tax, been setting up another whatnot stream for like leftover stuff and then doing some scheduling. But yeah, the leftover stuff is all over here. I'll probably add in a few more things, but it's just like miscellaneous things that we had either cancel from the last stream or other things I just found in the bins down there. Always more stuff to sell on whatnot. Link in the description if you want to join. But at the same time, I need to uh, film my intro and unboxing for the Sith Infiltrator while Pearson's at lunch so that I can build these and you can go back to using this table for recording some other stuff he was working on for me. So yeah, I just need to get the intro uh, filmed. But yeah, it's so, oh, the two boxes is beautiful. I totally didn't realize I had one already and bought the second one. Only because this box looked so beautiful on eBay, I was just like, oh, I'm buying that and uh, turns out I already had one but I'm glad I did because this is a gorgeous box that I will keep sealed forever and cherish as part of my collection so I was out at lunch and I decided to stop in the Macy's like Toys R Us thing and it says they have 10% off and I think it might include the new battle packs so yeah, just a little PSA for you. The Macy's Toys R Us's have these for 10% off. So my mom is coming by very soon. She's bringing back a lot of stuff from uh, my parents' house. 
And so we'll see what we get. I just told her bring what fits and what doesn't crush itself. So I'm kind of excited to see what shows up on the shipment. Kind of expecting some UCS size boxes and things. I know I had some Falcons and stuff there or a Falcon, I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, it's gonna be a lot of stuff, I think. A truck full. So this is a bit of the before adding in a bunch more stuff. I don't think we're gonna get another shelf today, but it's possible she will bring another shelf to add on to this. I'm not sure, but yeah, it's a bit messy still, but we're gonna have to add more stuff and then figure it out later. I was like, I know you I, I did want it. I just can't believe it went in the front seat and it works. Oh my goodness. Yeah, they literally stuffed this thing with as much as they could fill. This is crazy. What an amount of stuff to have back. I'm just so excited that my mom brought me home another whole bin of pick-a-brick parts that I definitely won't use. This is a disaster. I already have so many upstairs as you've seen. Maybe I'll show you guys later. This is definitely not a fine addition to my collection. What's up with the, to what's up with the camper? A, oh, there's a, a doll. Is it a pop-up? Worried about set. the camper. They're literally stocking a snow tube in Florida. Oh right, yeah. Why? There's never snow. It's on no. clearance. For never. A there's no. There's no tubing within no. 300 miles of here, Eat. if not more. Probably well, more. I am getting this Polaroid today. Snow it's a big. Oh, can I get your discount on this? Actually, you'll think about it. <laughs> Essentially, my goal is to kind of try to at least clean up this floor area because this is really bad right now. So I also almost like crushed a bunch of the stuff driving my car in earlier. So it's got to get cleaned up a little bit. It's it's bad, but I think it's manageable some way, somehow. I will find a way. I will make this look better. I think I've done a fantastic job in here. Got a lot of stuff cleaned up, a lot of stuff organized. It is not perfect yet. Still got to sell those taillights from the car, but... You know, we're in a much better place than I was a few hours ago. Now the inside of the house is still a bit messy here, so we gotta get to this stuff. But I think generally, uh, I'm getting where I need to be, so I'm happy. I got my brother building the CR20. Oh yeah, yeah this I thing's gonna be know. gnarly. This is like so unique and cool. I got my brother's building a Republic brick set, and he got a really old Lego piece. Let me see how close up I can show you guys. See, it's the really old Lego logo, and then on the bottom, it doesn't have the tubes but I guess he doesn't want to use it, so. Oh, and this literally doesn't fit on top. Oh, it doesn't? Yeah, I tried. What? It's not like the piece is disformed. That's supposed to connect. It's disformed, no. That's wild. Okay, we'll find a one by two brick. That'll be easy. They're around, I'm sure. Stacked. They're in one of these bins. You got a boatload of the one by two plates that are just stacked. There's a lot of white over here. You don't need to just stack plates? No, I want it to look normal externally. Sands is here, we're working on the Indiana Jones uh, wave review. It was gonna be Batman, but he's Someone's he really angle. doesn't like Batman. Yeah. He really hates Batman. He was like, dude, Bruce Wayne, hate the guy. The Joker, can't stand him. I'm scared of clowns. So we had to change directions. Anyway, so Indiana Jones it is, and that is now the truth, what I just said, and nothing can change that, because Oh, great. Nope, too late. Oh, 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 yeah, up, yeah. Up, yeah. Up, nope, nope, nope. So we've been working on this uh, Marvel CMF video more, and we've got our new toy plugged in. I didn't think I was going to keep this item, but I'm You gonna... weren't. You said you're giving it to me. Oh, well. And the iPhone. That yeah, it yeah, not the iPhone. You can maybe have the other thing. But yeah, we've been working on this edit all afternoon, because um, the other project we were going to do failed. So we'll get back to that one of these days, but this is going to be a beautiful video for you guys. I really hope you do enjoy it when it comes out. Where are you going? Dinner. Dinner? Oh, it does smell pretty good. I don't know what it is. Probably does not eat, but it does smell good. Oh. Sans is taking the Marvel video back to finish editing because he offered to do a little bit more work. Unpaid? We'll talk about Question. it. Question. We'll talk about it. Uh, uh, commission. Hey, you're off the clock now. All right. Beautiful. So I hopped on some Call of Duty for the night, waiting for a friend to get on. And in the meantime, I'm going to be building the Polaroid camera and I'm working on also like the schedule of videos for next week. So some good multitasking work. I just, after all day working with Sands, like literally the last 12 hours we've been working except for like lunch break. Like I just needed a little break of like, I don't know, I'm still doing technically work, but also a little bit of gaming in between. So let's get us queued in. In case you need to know what a thumbnail behind the scenes looks like, this is kind of it right now. Used to be the iPhone, now it's the camera camera with nice lighting. We'll see whether this uh, color stays or not, but I thought the Miami color uh, wave might look kind of neat, but again, it just depends on how it actually turns out looking for the thumbnail, but could be pretty cool for the background. Show you guys a preview angle of what it would kind of look like. Yeah, as long as you get that front lit up, we'll see. All right, fellas, it's Thursday, literally January 15th, right? Middle of winter for most people. And it's not that it's particularly hot outside. It's 75 degrees outside right now, but there's, there's just a feeling in the air in my house right now. I woke up and I said, it feels like summer. 
I don't know why. <laughs> so somewhat in the spirit of feeling like summer, I felt like doing some like Lego organizing. So working on some MNR shop stuff because well, we're completely out of 212 helmets other than what we have here, but we can fill up the regular helmet bins and the shock trooper bins. These are the rest of the 332nd helmets, which I thought we ran out of, but then I found a small another bin of them somewhere. So those are the rest of those, but yeah, we got some shock troopers that need to go in here. And then after these are full, I'm gonna make some more uh, upgrade packs because this weekend I have a whatnot stream. So I need to basically pre-pack a bunch of those if they sell so that uh, we can just easily ship them without having to pack them as we ship. So that basically is this whole process here. Well, that makes sense. I was trying to figure out where a bunch of other Marvel minifigs had gone because I had a bunch of extra accessories downstairs. I'll show you. So I wanted to go through and add all of these accessories to the figures, but all of these figures had all of their accessories, so I didn't know where they were supposed to go. Uh, turns out all of these accessories actually go to these figures. And I was like, I swear I had more figures than this from the Marvel video we did. I was like, I bought so many, there's no way I only have like 30 extra. So nice to see a bunch more here because I was like really confused as to what I had done with all of the other figures. The other thing that's going on as far as like the shop stuff goes is on MNR shop, we're doing our first Friday flash sale, which I intend to do every Friday with either a different product, a different category of products. Um, it just kind of depends on what it is. But for this particular week, we're having a flash sale on the 501st Troopers and the Mandalorian Warriors. And some people may wonder, well, why not the 212 Troopers either? Oh, I guess you can't see it on either side. Well, I don't remember what I showed or vlogged over the summer, but at some point I was able to get in about 3,500 of them from like a, a wholesaler. And this is all I have left. It's maybe, maybe 400. Like they have been selling really consistently. I assume because there is no battle pack, of these figures and there's no battle pack coming as far as we're aware. So that makes sense to me, but I don't know. I've always been surprised by it. I obviously really, really don't like the figure helmet and I'm really open and vocal about that. I think it's really bad. I find it to be a weird conflict of interest that I have here. It's like, oh yeah, I'd love to sell these, but also I think they suck and Lego did a bad job. So like, I don't advertise them very well. Like I'm not good advertising for that. You know what I mean? So uh, anyway, we got all those packed away or rather we're gonna have to fill that back up because it's empty. Shoot, I didn't even realize this bottom bin wasn't completely full. So I guess I have these few extras I took out of the other bin. So I could literally have like an empty bin. Yeah, right there. So I can put some stuff in there. Blue Milk Lukes, I think we've still got plenty of. We've still got a lot of Blue Milk Lukes and they're not like an army massable figure. So it's not the same, but let's see what's in here. Cards, yeah, cards. So Whatnot wants me to do a special stream with them with just like vintage Lego Star Wars sets. And so, I actually have to go through and figure out how much it would maybe cost us to get every 1999 set sealed in box, which I've done before. But I'm actually kind of curious um, what that looks like now because it's been many years since I did that. Obviously, it's been over five years since I had every 1999 set sealed. So one now potentially wants to get them all to do a fun, like sponsored auction thing. So it could be pretty cool. $100, oh my goodness. Ah, it's expensive. Mystery minifigures used to come in bags where you could feel them up. I can't say feel them up. <laughs> Method 11. So, <laughs> got it. I hate helmet holes. <laughs>